On the night of November 17th, 2024, I paid a visit to Starbase and to the launch facility for the sixth flight of Starship. And while I was there, I saw something very unusual, or rather, experienced something unusual. And that was an unbelievable traffic jam, an utterly congested public road where it was very difficult to get around a parade of huge tanker trucks tanker trucks that were loaded with flammable super cooled liquid including liquid oxygen some of these materials were obviously a lot less harmful things like helium and nitrogen but still so much liquid oxygen was present during this process a process whereby all of the super cooled oxidizer and fuel for that matter that is required for starship has to be trucked in because of a lack of a pipeline that spacex has sought for a considerable amount of time but never actually managed to get and so what i experienced is nothing short of a block party around all of this extreme hazardous fuel and i was in a state of disbelief on a regular basis the police were having to chase vehicles out of the area that were impeding the activity of the fuel trucks and in addition to that as you can see there were large numbers of spectators always roaming around the area and it began to occur to me what if we had some sort of accident, an accident involving one of these trucks and their enormous amount of flammable liquids? Or even worse, what would happen if we had something intentional, something happening by design, a group of terrorists, or perhaps something as simple as a group of environmental radicals equipped with petrol bombs? Remember, it's not just a matter of these trucks going up in flames. It's also all of the propellant and oxidizer that's in the tank farm, which is in close proximity to all of these trucks and all of these spectators. And again, there's almost nothing that SpaceX can do about this because they don't own the property across the street from the launch facility. They don't own the highway. It's a public highway. And as you can see, look at this. Look at how difficult difficult it is for this truck to operate and how he is hemmed in by these vehicles. It is difficult to comprehend just how dangerous this whole situation really was. And to put all of this into perspective, Starship carries approximately 1,200 metric tons of propellant and oxidizer, and then Super Heavy carries an additional 3,400 tons. We're talking 4,600 metric tons worth of flammable liquids just in the rocket. And the tank farm is probably going to have to handle a lot more than that. So we're talking a minimum of 1.5 million gallons worth of flammable liquid at this launch facility. Ridiculously close to the general public. I can't begin to imagine the sort of cataclysm we'd be facing in South Texas if a terrorist attack of some kind or a serious accident were to befall a convoy like this on a night like November 17th. So I think I've said just about everything I need to say about this situation. In the meantime, check out the footage that I got on this night because it was quite remarkable in spite of the misgivings that I had at the time.